seized and tortured. Furious with grief, the father and his friends killed the local governor, and the whole village, samurai, peasants, and Christians, rose in revolt. Soon the whole area was in the hands of the rebels, nearly 40,000. So what began as a social upheaval, a social revolt against the tremendously harsh taxation against the peasants, leaving the peasants almost starving, what began as that somehow developed into a Christian rebellion. A European merchant reported on the rebellion. A few days after the outbreak, the Christians struck in the farms. They cry out throughout the whole country that the time had now come to revenge the innocent blood of so many Christians and priests and that they are prepared to die for their faith. The rebels swarmed into an abandoned castle surrounded on three sides by the sea. Feeling protected, they brought in their wives and children and barricaded themselves inside. This was very upsetting. The peasants who are the lowest of the low, the poor people, they had no right to rebel. They had, and not only had they rebelled and revolted, but they were doing darned well militarily. Jimabara to quell the rebellion. But for four bloody months, even as food ran out, the rebels managed to hold off the government attacks. Nevertheless, they desperately wanted to hold on to this toehold which they had in trade with Japan. And so if they didn't obey the order of the Shogun, he might well say, well, okay, you can pack up and go home. The Shogun ordered the castle set